Today we're gonna react to the desk of death battle. Batman is a murderer. Let's watch. Batman's a pretty complicated guy, but he's got one steadfast rule. Don't kill people. Seems pretty normal, right? Well, as it turns out, the Keith Crusader has broken this rule way more times than you. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a few times when Batman's been such a cold-blooded killer, he makes his villains look tame. Are you curious? Because I'd love to share. It's kind of my thing. I'm Jocelyn the intern. I do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle. Before I spill the comic book secrets, I don't want to overlook the movies. I'm actually kind of surprised the everyday non-comic reader knows about Batman's code of not killing, because every movie series we've seen doesn't give two bats about it. Tim Burton's Batman has zero problems whatsoever about killing people. Yeah, see you never, Joker. And don't tell me that whole, I will kill you but I don't have to save you bit with Liam Neeson in Batman Begins is a loophole. Criminally negligent manslaughter is a thing, guys. Also, it was Batman's plan to blow up the monorail in the first place. Wow. And I don't need to tell you how violent Batfleck gets when driving his life-sized Hot Wheel around in Batman vs. Superman. But people defend this because it's all off-screen, so we don't really know if he's actually killing people, mm. right? Except, uh, do you remember that one scene where he busts through a wall and shoots a guy with a rifle? Uh, yeah, a freaking gun. The one thing Batman absolutely never, ever uses. Hmm. So much for respecting source material. Anyway, he's got two thugs in a room and his shot causes an explosion that looks like this. Mm. Uh, yeah, those guys are dead. But hey, I'm sure the comic book Batman would have come up with about 200 different ways to handle this situation, which don't include loss of life, right? Mm -hmm. Well, don't bet your cow on it. Starting with a comic as recent as 2007, in Frank Miller's goddamn Batman series, Batman decides to break up a bunch of armed thugs who are in the process of stealing bleach. Uh, he does this by using the chemical to set all of them on fire! Wow. And I mean all of them! before getting kinky with Black Canary. That takes the idea of making sweet love down by the fire <laughs> to a whole new level. Anyway, The Killing Joke is probably the most recognized story where Batman gets murdery, and also one of the most debated. Alan Moore's Batman has always been a bit darker than most, but after Joker leaves Barbara Gordon paralyzed from the waist down, oh, spoilers, by the way, that takes the kid gloves off. In the final scene, we don't actually see the killing blow, just Batman and Joker laughing together like a couple of psychotic buddies. But it's pretty obvious only one of them keeps their neck unsnapped by the end of it. Mm. Here's a more straightforward instance of bat murder. The KG Beast. Long story short, Batman outsmarts this Soviet assassin, but he knows that if he were to capture the Beast, the villain would just be handed back to the Soviets. Instead, Bats decided to lock the KG Beast in an underground room all alone to starve to death. Wow. This was retconned later, but Batman clearly had no intention of that guy ever getting out alive. Chilling, but we still aren't at Batman's most violent time. That honor goes to the classic gold age of comic books. In the 1940s, Batman was quite different from today's cape and cowl. Not only was he a gun-toting sociopath, but he took no issue murdering aristocrats, minorities, and even the mentally disabled. Mm. In issue 39 of Detective Comics, Batman intentionally crushes a crowd of Chinese gangsters under a massive statue. Man. On two separate occasions, he pushes a guy onto a sword. Mm. But Batman's most brutal murder of all comes from, I kid you not, his very first solo outing. That's right, Batman issue number one. In this story, a mad scientist has turned a bunch of helpless mental patients into monsters. When one of these monsters is being driven to town, Batman uses his brand spanking new machine gun and the truck crashes. Mm. The poor monster survives though. It climbs out, trying to escape. 
only to be scooped up and strangled to death by a steel noose dropped from the bat plane. Wow. The best part is Batman actually had created an antidote which could cure the monster only a couple pages back. But, you know, rather than help the poor guy, he just figures, ah, he's better off this way. Mm -hmm. Holy homicide, Batman! So, what do you guys think? Batman isn't exactly the boy scout you thought he was, huh? Uh, do you guys know of any other times the Cape Crusader's gone too far? Hey, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'm gonna see you on my next reaction. This has been the Montre Black. Peace.